Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial of us. So I know I am back after a long time but trust me I have a lot of health issues. So it took a good amount of time for me to recover from that. So now here we are back in this first short tutorial of us so as to get the momentum for this channel. We will be posting more regular content so you can just subscribe to the channel. So in this tutorial we will be seeing how you can build this amazing uh, shimmer effect. Uh, when the data is being loaded in the application, you have seen this, uh, this effect in uh, Pinterest and Facebook and they have been implementing this quite often. So implementing this would be a good strategy for your application also. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first and foremost thing that we need to do is we will open up our terminal and here I will go to my desktop. And then after going to my desktop, we will just write this command flutter create shimmer example. And then we just need to migrate to that particular folder. So we will write cd and then the name of that folder shimmer example. Now uh, with this command, you can see here are all the list of files that is inside this folder. Let me just clear. And now the thing that you need to do is we will open this in our visual studio code. So we will write code and space and a full stop. So this will open up the particular folder in the current visual studio code window. So now with this new flutter version where you can see we have this Mac OS. So we delete this. We have this Linux. We will delete this also and we will also delete our windows. Now before doing anything let me first of all uh, remove this. And now we will add a particular shimmer package. So for doing that, you, what you need to do is we will go to this extension and do uh, check whether you have this extension or not. And now after this extension, what you need to do is you have to press command shift and P and here you have to write add dependencies and we will write the name of the particular package as shimmer. By the time it is adding the package, let me show what is this package. So here you write shimmer. So here you can see we can create this particular uh, layout that is there in the project. Now we will run this particular in our iOS simulator. Because so we have the application running in our iOS simulator. Now we will need to go to our main.dot file and here we will delete everything that is present here and we will start from scratch. So we will import our material.dot dot and then we will write void main and run application. Then for the application, we can write this my app and this will be my app. And now the thing that we need to do is we will return a material application. And here we can create two folders. This can be screens and this can be widgets. So in our screen, we will go and create a home screen. This is the page where we will be landing. So we can write import material dot dot home screen and we will return a scaffold with a body of center. And now first of all we will disable the particular debug thing here and we will set the home to home screen. Perfect. Monster here. So now if we reload you can see we have this white screen here. So if you go to our home screen, now the thing that we need to do is whenever the user comes to this home, come to this home screen, we will be showing a three second timer to that particular user and that timer will be loading the particular data in the list and in that particular duration of loading, we will be showing our shimmer effect. So for doing that, we can first of all create a value here is data being fetched and this will be false. And we can create an init state here. And we need to call our timer. This can be three seconds. Perfect. Now, after uh, loading for three seconds, we will be setting the value. We'll be doing a set state and setting the value of this is data being fetched to true. And now in our scaffold, the thing that we need to do is we will write this as safe area and we'll define a new child here. If 
if data being fetched is equal to false then we will be showing a shimmer list so we can go and create a shimmer list dot dot we will write shimmer list and here we will return a scaffold and a center will be shimmer loading we will be uh, modifying this in a while just give me a second and now we will call this shimmer list here and if this is not false then we will be displaying our list tile or rather list view i mentioned this list tile the thing that we need in our list view builder is the item count so we can display 10 items here and there will be a builder in which we will return a padding so this will be let's say before returning padding what we can do is we will return a card with a child inkwell okay we can just stop this here shimmer loading this will load up for three seconds i guess let me just reload the application then after three seconds it will be redirected to our list tile so what here we can the so the thing that here we can do is we will write this card and on tap can be tabbed we don't need to play with on tabbed here and we'll go and create a row this will have the children let's say 10 and a child will be text and particular position which can be 1 2 3 4 5 6 we are building a 10 count so position will be till 10 this is a numeric value so we'll write two string okay so we got this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now the thing that we can do here is we'll wrap this with a padding let's see yeah perfect so let's say we have 20 items so we got a lot of uh, big list here so this is okay now we need to fetch or rather we need to design for our shimmer like the shimmer loading and then one two three after that it will open up the list so what we can do here is we will just change this to true so that when this application okay so shimmer is showing to us and now we will code this uh, particular layout and then change this again to false so we can go to a shimmer list and here we need to return a safe area with a child of list view dot builder we will be doing the same thing that we done in our home screen item count can be 20 item builder will be context comma index we will return a padding and this padding will be we can provide a symmetric padding and now the important thing is we will be using our shimmer package that we have so this will be shimmer from or rather we have to import this i guess shimmer from color and now we have two or three things here the base color the base color will be let's say colors dot gray dot with opacity 0 0.5 we are providing a 50 percent opacity and the highlight color will be colors dot white the important thing that we need to do here is we have to provide a particular layout to this so particular child to this which can be a shimmer layout so shimmer layout and we can return a container here and this will be shimmer layout perfect
right now it is not showing us anything let me just see whether this is working or not okay so it is working it is printing us 20 values here and you can see we have this shimmer type effect also so what we can need, what do, so the thing that we need to do here is we will first of all create a row with the children's cross axis can be start and the main axis can be start now inside our children we'll be providing a container this can be let's say 100 height width can be 100 and a color can be colors dot gray and now you can see after we reload so it is showing me a particular box here and i guess for removing this particular thing we can do here is margin symmetric and we can provide a vertical vertical margin yeah now this looks so perfect so we have to provide all three things here so this can be size box and our width can be 10 then we need a column cross axis can be start children can be a container with a height of 15 and a width of let's say we'll get the width of our device and subtract 150 or let's say 200 let's see how much is 150 here i guess i would have to provide a color only then i can see yeah 150 is okay so we can go and stick with 150 I'll provide a size box. Height can be 5. And after this, we'll just duplicate this again. Perfect. And we'll just need one more. But instead of this 150, we will do 250. So this looks quite a nice. We'll just write a const here and now we'll just save this file and go back to our home screen and the thing that we need to do now is we'll change this to false and boom now if you reload the application here you can see this looks so perfect we are loading the data and the data is present to us you can change a lot of things here like if you go to our home screen you can just change the padding and everything here so I change the padding of this 18 so these things increase a bit so this is everything that you can do and so you have seen how easy it was to create this particular shimmer effect let me just reload so this is how it can be done so if you love this short tutorial you can definitely click the subscribe button and follow us for latest updates